It wasn't so long ago they were love's middle-aged dream, but Shirley and Phil's animosity worsens when Kim lets slip he's paying for her room. He tells her he's only looking out for her, but she spits that he's covering up Heather's death, then demands more money to keep quiet, much more. She takes the three grand Phil offers, but tells him she wants more, just as Carl, intrigued, notices her taunts. Denise is livid when she ends up alone during the catering for Beauty's launch, so she dumps Ian, though he manages to woo her back with a romantic meal. But Ian's happiness doesn't last when he gets home to find Cindy Jr. in the house. I think this minx is trouble. Abby's devastated to walk into a party Lauren has thrown for her to celebrate her grades. Trouble is, they're bad, and she blames all the chaos surrounding her sister. Jay and Dexter worry that the camping trip will be called off, and when Kirsty breaks the news to Max, he forbids Abby from going. That is, until Lauren finds a way Abby can still become a vet. And Carl's war with Max turns violent when tires are slashed at the car lot, and Lauren sent a bottle of whiskey. I think Carl means business. Next, we visit Corrie. Everyone's tense as they learn Nick's sedation is going to be reduced so he can wake up, and Leanne snaps when she hears the Platts talking about it. Tina gets suspicious when Leanne tells her about the hate campaign, and she demands to know from David if he tried to kill his brother. David comes clean and reveals he was behind the vendetta and car crash, but he swears he didn't want to kill Nick and begs her to stay silent. Paul gets community service for attacking Lloyd, but later he turns rescuer and steps in when Lloyd is harangued by some racist goons. He admits he was wrong and the pair make up, but is their reconciliation too late for Eileen? Paul tells her he wants to marry her as soon as they can, but her feet are colder than Skip of the Penguins. Chez is torn between Sinead and Katie, who's desperate to get back with him, and uses Joseph to set up a date in the park. Sinead's upset and tells him to choose. But will Joseph's well-being make up Chez's mind? Finally, we're in the Dales. Declan's facing complete ruin when police again visit Home Farm after a tip-off from a workman. They lock the farm down after it's discovered the body has been buried twice. Declan's forced to cancel the festival and the insurance company won't pay out for the cancelled event. But worse, Deck is arrested for perverting the course of justice and after they learn Katie's disappeared, for murder. Chaz saves his bacon when she tells them Katie left freely, but his financial issues won't go away, especially when Jay refuses to help him out. Cameron and Debbie return from Jersey and head to the Woolpack to face the music, but he feels sick when he hears police have identified Alex's remains. And it gets worse. Nikhil gives Chaz a box of Jenny's possessions, which just happens to include the dictaphone with his confession on it. 